This time last year, 16-year-old Dutch midfielder Xavi Simmons pulled an unprecedented power move for a youth player. Leaving the prestigious ranks of Barcelona's academy to sign a big money contract at PSG, despite not having played a single game in professional football. Around this time we dropped a video on the channel covering the move and how we believe it would impact Simmons' young career. You see, Xavi Simmons is not your ordinary young footballer. He is a phenomenon in his own right. He has the highest profile of any youth footballer in the world with 2.5 million Instagram followers. And seeing as just recently he made his professional debut in a friendly with PSG, I feel as though now would be an appropriate time to update you guys with what's going on with Xavi Simmons this past year and what we can expect to see of him this season. For those unfamiliar with Xavi Simmons, I'ma quickly summarise his young career so far and get you guys up to speed. For a more detailed explanation and backstory, go check out the previous video I made, I'ma leave a link to that down below in the description. But Simmons was born in Amsterdam, son to former pro Rogelio Simmons in 2003. He played locally in the Netherlands up till 2010, when a young Simmons was noticed by Barcelona, he was signed, brought over to Catalonia, and it was within the Barca youth setup where he'd rise to social media stardom. As a creative gem who displayed all the qualities La Masea aims to create in a player, and was easily noticed when doing so due to his Valderrama hairstyle. All of that combined with the fact he shared a name with one of Barca's greatest midfielders, all contributed to him becoming the most marketable player in youth football. This all acted together and created a wave of interest that saw Simmons amass an incredible 2.5 million followers on Instagram, as fans prematurely began picturing him playing first team football at the camp now. Though quickly turned on the youngster when he famously moved to PSG last summer, signing a deal worth up to 1 million euros per year. This led some fans to believe that Simmons was cashing in on his own hype, signing a big money deal now, before perhaps he was exposed at the pro level. It's interesting because those involved in La Masea had nothing but positive things to say about Simmons when under contract at Barca. Coaches who've been quoted hyping him up as the next big thing, have swiftly changed their tune since his transfer to PSG, telling the press that nobody is losing any sleep over his departure, and that Simmons only ever started for the team when filling in for an injured or suspended player. While this may well be coming from a place of bitterness from the part of Barcelona, it did and still does ask questions of Simmons' talent. With Simmons' super agent pushing for a 7 figure contract, it's bizarre that Barcelona would not give in to such demands if they truly believed that their young player was going to be world class. So with all the hype around Simmons and his controversial move to PSG, it was really just a test of time with his new club to see what would happen. And last season was uneventful for the most part. Since joining PSG, Simmons has made just 5 appearances at youth level altogether, starting on 3 occasions and coming off the bench in the other 2. Playing this few games is simply not good for his development, especially when some of his peers across world football are playing first team football at the same age, such as Karamoko Dembele, Eduardo Camavinga and Ansu Fati. If they're good enough, why isn't Xavi Simmons? And it wasn't until a year from the move in August 2020, when Xavi Simmons finally made his professional debut, featuring for PSG off the bench in a pre-season friendly. Seeing as he came on in the 74th minute, he really didn't have much of an impact, though did show some flashes here and there, completing a couple of nice passes and touches. All in all, this was simply an opportunity for the manager to give the youngster his first taste of senior football and get a rough idea of what he could do. Nothing of yet to justify the 1 million euros he pocketed since signing last year. So far I'd say it seems as if Barca were right to move on from him. The move on PSG's side remains odd to invest that much money into a young and unproven player, only to then play him just 5 times the entire season. I guess maybe they make up for it due to the attention he generates on social media, or most likely, PSG just have more money than they know what to do with. Anyways, outside of his club career, Simmons has made several appearances with his national side in the Dutch under-17s, where he's played 6 times across the season, picking up 3 goals and an assist. To conclude, this move so far has been an underwhelming one. Xavi Simmons simply hasn't yet justified his absurd salary, though he is still 17 with a full career ahead of him, and has more than enough time on his hands to put in the work and develop into a world-class player, given the time and proper development. So despite such a small sample size of Simmons data, it would be unwise to rule out the Dutchman completely, as he could fire through the ranks at any given moment. 
But if you guys have made it up to this point and enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be bringing a ton more of football content real soon. If that's something you want to see more of, like the video, comment Iniesta Simmons if you made it up to the end so I can tell the reels apart from the fake. And on that note, it's DKM signing out. Till next time, say less.